my channel all about biology and this is Jyoti Verma. Today we will discuss about the ecological pyramids. So ecological pyramid is basically a diagrammatic representation of different trophic levels within an ecosystem. If we talk about the types of ecological pyramids then these are of three types. The first one is pyramid of number that indicates the number of organisms that are present in each trophic level. Now coming to our second one that is pyramid of biomass. It indicates the biomass of the individuals that are present in each trophic level. Coming to our third one that is pyramid of energy and it indicates the energy accumulation pattern within each trophic level of the ecosystem. So coming to our first one that is the pyramid of numbers. If you talk about pyramid of numbers then this type of pyramid can be upright pyramid. This one, these two are the upright pyramid and this one is the inverted pyramid. So in the case of pyramid of number, it can be upright or it can be inverted. If we talk about the examples, then the first one is the grassland ecosystem. In this case, the pyramid is upright because the at the base, the producers are there, which is the grasses, which have the highest number. Then the grasses are eaten by rabbit which are lesser in number in comparison to the grasses. Then fox eats rabbit which is lesser in number in comparison to the rabbit. And finally the fox is eaten by lion which is the top consumer and its number is least. So in this case, in this pyramid, it basically represents the decrease in number within each trophic level. So the number of individuals is maximum within this trophic level that includes the grasses and the number of individual is least at the top of the pyramid that indicates the location of this top consumer. So this is your grassland ecosystem that represents decrease in the number of individuals within the trophic levels. Coming to our second example that is the crop ecosystem and in this ecosystem the same thing is going to happen. The number of individuals in each trophic level is going to decrease. That's why it is drawn upright. So the first trophic level indicates the producers which are the grasses here. Its number is maximum. Then the grasses are eaten by the grasshoppers which are lesser in number in comparison to the grasses. These are the primary consumers. Then frog eats the grasshopper and here the frog is the secondary consumer which is lesser in number in comparison to the grasshopper. Snake, snake is the tertiary consumer here and it is lesser in number in comparison to the frog. And finally, the top consumer that is the eagle that feeds on the snake is least in number. So in this case, as you can see in this pyramid, the number of individuals are going to decrease as we are moving upward towards the pyramid. So this is your crop ecosystem. So now coming to our third example that is of tree ecosystem and in this case you will get an inverted pyramid because here at the base there is a producer that is the tree which is single in number then lots of birds are available on the tree which are more in number and finally the insects which are present on the body of the birds are highest in number so they are present at the top of the pyramid and here you can see increase in number of individuals in each trophic level so in the case of tree ecosystem you will get a inverted pyramid because the number of individuals in this case is going to increase here now coming to our second type that is the pyramid of biomass. Pyramid of biomass basically biomass is the total fresh or dry weight of all the living organisms in a particular area. So on the basis of biomass the pyramid is made here and in this case you will get an upright pyramid as well as an inverted pyramid. If we talk about the grassland ecosystem then in this case at the base of the pyramid there are producers which are the grasses which have the highest biomass then there are rabbits which have lesser biomass or lesser weight in comparison to the grasses that are present in particular area then there is fox which have 
lesser biomass in comparison to the rabbit and finally there is loin which have the least biomass so in this case there is decrease in biomass of the organisms as we move up towards the trophic levels in the case of grassland ecosystem now coming to our second example that is of tree ecosystem in the case of tree ecosystem the pyramid is also upright because here at the base we are having the producer that is a single tree which has the highest uh, biomass then the tree has lots of birds which have lesser biomass and the finally we have insects small insects whose biomass is at least point so there is decrease in biomass in the trophic levels now coming to pond ecosystem that will show you a inverted pyramid because we have the producers in the pond that are the phytoplanktons and the diatoms these are very small microscopic structures which are present in the pond or in the lake then so it have basically very less biomass or weight then the fishes that will feed on the phytoplanktons will have more biomass in comparison to the phytoplanktons and finally the large fishes which are the top consumers here will have the highest biomass or have the highest weight here that's why this pyramid is made inverted so in this case you can see an increase in biomass as you move upwards toward the trophic level now coming to the third one that is the pyramid of energy and in this case the pyramid of energy basically represents the energy accumulation pattern in each trophic level it basically determines the the movement of energy from the trophic level and as you all know about 10% law so the energy transfer is going to happen and the energy amount is going to decrease as we move upwards that's why the pyramid of energy is always upright so if we are taking the example of grassland ecosystem then here at the base we are having the producers which are the grasses which have maximum amount of energy taken from the sun uh, to produce their own food then rabbit will feed on the grasses will take little amount of energy from the grasses then it may be feeded by the fox and finally loin is at the top of it but it will get less amount of energy as you all are aware about the 10% law that as the organisms feed one another then there is transfer of energy but the transfer of energy is less so here you can see decrease in energy in this type of pyramid and that's why this type of pyramid is always made upright so that is all about for today if you like the video just subscribe to my channel for further updates thank you so much